This is going to be a walkthrough of a 1984 CHB 46 foot cockpit motor yacht. We're coming around here to the starboard side of the boat. We're going to board and I'll take you first for a walk around the exterior perimeter of the boat. One thing that you'll notice is that all of the teak handrails and deck work has been refinished. Um, all of the woodwork has been repainted. Fiberglass has been restored. Up here we have the anchor and windlass. And looking up to the flybridge, which we'll see in a moment. And we'll move around here to the port side. And all the way to the back an aft covered sun deck area with lots of seating, lots of storage, an ice maker, barbecue, lazarette seating and storage, and down the steps to the cockpit area. This has been set up for fishing with rod holders and a bait tank as well as an aft sink and transom shower. Further aft we have the swim step and swim ladder. This window goes to the aft master cabin which we'll see in a moment. We'll first back up the cockpit stairs and up to the flybridge area. So the flybridge again has lazarette seating all the way around, as well as a captain's chair, a canvas bimini top with great visibility all the way around, and an upper helm station. The hard top here for the sun deck has room for dinghy storage, including an electric davits, or room for additional seating. And we'll move back down to the sun deck and head inside the main cabin area. So we're entering now the main salon. You see the teak floors, built-in seating, bookshelves, rod holders, and very light, great visibility all the way around. And the door that we came in. Additional storage, an SSB radio, the main cabin helm station, counter seating, and a down galley. Down here in the galley we have a four burner LPG stove, double stainless steel sink, refrigerator, microwave, and great storage area all the way around. Moving now into the forward cabin, we have an inline queen berth, a hanging locker here on the port side, storage shelves all the way around, a hatch up to the bow area and also a concealed sink here in the cabin, mirrored medicine cabinet and the forward head which has a newly installed vacuum flush and a separate shower enclosure. If we move back through the other door we're back in the kitchen. These stairs actually lift up and uh, let you into the engine compartment, which I'll show you in a moment. We have the electrical panel, interface, uh, inverter interface, and back down here to the aft master cabin. On the left, there's actually what we have been using as a hanging storage locker. Um, it's also plumbed for a stackable washer dryer. 
Here in the aft cabin, we have, again, tons of storage space, two hanging lockers uh, here on the starboard side, inline queen berth, and a single hanging locker over on the port side. And of course, the window that goes out to the cockpit. That makes you feel like you're right on the water. The aft head has a sink. It's plumbed for, but currently doesn't have a toilet and a separate enclosed shower. And like the forward cabin, we have a, a concealed sink. And we move back now up to the main salon area. And what I'm going to show you next uh, is going to be under these floorboards to the engine room, which when these floorboards are all removed, we have full standing headroom uh, with access to both engines as well as the generator. Okay, so you'll see here that I've lifted up the floorboards in the main salon, providing access to the engine room where we see the twin Perkins 220 turbo diesels, as well as a 5K Westerbeek generator there in red in the back.